Icon Building a Giant. What's going on guys? Randy here with another crypto video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification, and if you would like more exclusive content, be sure to check out my Patreon down below. All right, so today I'm going to get into Icon. Icon's a massive project that doesn't get much attention or the attention that it deserves. If you're an Icon holder, you know what I mean. You understand the vision and the scope of Icon, and you're wondering why isn't it getting the recognition that it deserves. Well, it's tough to pinpoint exactly why it's it's a it's it's got so many different moving parts and they're actually delivering on their promise of hyper connecting the world. This is a project that started in 2017 with a ton of hype and a ton of fanfare based on promises based on white paper and it, it took off and they've done nothing but come through on their promise of what they set out to do. And I'm going to get into a few of those things and also talk about one of the biggest catalysts that was just announced the other day for Icon and how they are actually going about building this underrated giant that much of the crypto world is just ignoring. So what exactly is ICON? ICON is, is a decentralized autonomous organization which seeks to connect every single blockchain in the world regardless of its design or consensus mechanism. ICON's native blockchain is known as the loop chain and can be conceived of as a digital key ring that allows you to attach multiple blockchains to a single hub called the nexus that makes it possible for them to communicate with each other. Participating blockchains will eventually be able to mint both fungible and non-fungible tokens backed by ICON's ICX token and or real world assets. You know, one time this was all just talk interconnecting these blockchains, but they're already, they're starting to do that in 2021 by working with Polkadot and there's many more to come. Eventually it'll be Ethereum and Cardano and, and Solana. This will all happen at some point, but it's one step at a time. Now on June 15th, Icon dropped the massive news that a new EVM compatible blockchain called ICE is coming to Icon. ICE will become the application hub for the ICON project with its own native token. What does this mean for ICX community? Keep reading and then there's a tweet storm that explains exactly what ICE is and, and, and why it's needed. Now ICON's original thesis back in 2017 and the years leading up to their ICO was that every blockchain was going to act as its own nation. This article written on May 17, 2019 entitled The Future We Believe In, ICON goes in to talk about these digital nations. And in summary, ICON is not building just an operating system, just a tech company, or just a new version of the internet. ICON is building the digital nation known as the ICON Republic with the vision of bridging together a world of digital nations. An ICX station will continue to accelerate the growth of the ICON Republic. Now you may see this as a slow and boring journey, but Think about that. In 2019, Icon had this vision. And two years later, this article is coming into fruition. Just like the blockchain transmission protocol, which we'll get into in a little bit, that's a vision they had years ago. And they're following this roadmap. It's all coming together here, and uh, it will be over the coming years. Now, it goes on to say that Icon will connect these nations, improving cross-chain trade and other activities utilizing our novel blockchain transmission protocol technology also known as BTP, and will incentivize this growth through ICX reserves and the CPS. Now a little bit more about the blockchain transmission protocol. The ICON network, since its inception, has set out on a mission to hyperconnect the world. This catchphrase refers to the feature interoperability and the technology to enable this feature is called blockchain transmission protocol. To realize blockchain's full potential, we want distinct protocols to have compatible ways to interact and communicate with each other and the ability to interoperate at the protocol level. Now the BTP came into fruition earlier this year. They're already working with Polkadot to make this happen. So all the reasons you were hyped in 2017 about this project, they're actually coming true in 2021. You know, back when, when ICON was just a white paper, and it reached an all-time high of $13, it should really be valued higher than that now. And I, I think that will come at, at one point or another here uh, in the near future. And lastly, with the BTP, any network that's added to the BTP ecosystem becomes directly connected to all other networks in the ecosystem. There is no need to build bridges between all networks. Through inclusion in the BTP ecosystem, all chains are directly connected with one another. And then ICON goes on to say, this is a doubling down on our view that cross-chain liquidity is one of the largest market opportunities 
that exists today. DeFi is already proven out an initial use case. Now the focus for ICON turns to the launch and the growth of the BTP ecosystem. You're going to hear news about BTP ecosystem from here on out a lot because that's what they're working on the most in 2021. Okay, now getting into ICE. With the focus of ICON's network on interoperability and the upcoming launch of BTP, we are very excited to announce an additional piece to our ecosystem. We are adding an EVM compatible sidechain to the ICON network. So what does that mean? We are launching a new network, but with direct ties to the ICX token economy. This new network enables developers to iterate and innovate much faster by using tooling and code from Ethereum ecosystem. This article here goes a little more in depth as to why this new blockchain is needed as opposed to using just a regular old icon. Icon, due to its different language and score, the architecture requires additional learning prior to development. As a result, there's a bit of an obstacle to getting developers on board. They have to really want to build on icon in order to get over the educational hump. This hasn't made it impossible, of course. Our ecosystem has plenty of talented developers, but it has made it harder. That's where ICE comes into play. Now, if you're unaware, EVM stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. Chains that are EVM compatible have contracts written in Solidity, the same code Ethereum runs on. Meaning if you know how to develop on Ethereum, you'll know how to code on ICE. Now, simply put, because icon is written in a different language than ethereum if you were used to building on ethereum it's going to be tough to build on icon you have to learn a new uh, programming language that's the issue so now icon can attract programmers that maybe would have used ethereum because they know uh, their their language will actually come to icon because it's the same as working on ethereum not directly on icon but the ice blockchain which is of course connected to icon even better is the fact that it's possible to copy existing ethereum dapp code and deploy it in minutes this doesn't mean developers will simply copy and paste existing protocols what is more important is that it makes it easier to build upon what's already proven successful and secure. It's said as though Iconis will have a chance to use their ICX to validate on either ICE or Icon and potentially move their tokens based on which network is currently offering more lucrative re rewards. Staking ICX on ICE will earn voters ICE, just as staking an Icon earns ICX. The ICE token will not be stakeable, but you can use your ICX tokens to stake on Icon and earn more ICX. So if you stake your ICX on the IconX wallet, you're going to earn ICX. But if you stake your ICX on the ICE platform, you're going to earn ICE, which means you might be moving your ICX tokens from one platform to another based on which one gives you more rewards. All right, now continuing on with the tweet storm. In general, the current ICON network will continue to optimize for BTP, the blockchain transmission protocol, and begin focusing specifically on interoperability, becoming an aggregator chain and driving volumes through the network. And then the new network known as ICE will become the application hub for the ICON ecosystem with its own native token that will be airdropped one-to-one -to, -one to all ICX holders via a snapshot announced at a later date, but likely coinciding with the ICON 2.0 launch. Of course, if you own ICX, whether it's staking or not, there'll be a snapshot right around the launch of 2.0 and you'll get ICE tokens equal to the amount of ICX that you're holding. So through the use of BTP, ICX will be the governance token of the ICE network. ICX will be used to vote for validators just as it was before. ICX holders will transfer ICX to the ICE network via BTP, stake their ICX, vote for validators, and earn ICE tokens as a reward. Now, not only does this provide an excellent early use case for BTP, but it also increases fees earned. As mentioned in a previous post, all fees earned from BTP transactions are sent to the CPS and are burned. So as I was saying earlier, you're going to have ICX holders transferring through the BTP looking for the better rewards. Are you going to get a higher percentage staking your ICX on ICE? Or are you going to earn more ICX in a greater percentage staking on the IconX wallet or IconFi? Okay, and then it closes off by saying the network is currently being built, but by the end of July, we expect it will be largely stood up and testable. A full launch to come later this year, and we will follow up with more details this week. All right, so this is incredible news for Icon and a step closer to their ultimate vision. Right now, Icon is sitting at $1.11, ranked number 104 on CoinGecko. Icon hit an all-time high of $13.16 back in January of 2018, had a rough bear market, but has 
recovered a little bit uh, in this current cycle. This is, in my opinion, one of the most undervalued projects in all of crypto. It's one that gets ignored for whatever reason. It's a project that has only come through on its original plan and mission. And I think because of that, it's some it's, it's a project that will eventually rebound and we'll see the kind of gains that investors expect. Now, on the topic of price, one thing I hear from many of ICX holders is there's no marketing. Why isn't there any marketing? That's why the price isn't increasing. But firstly, I don't think that's exactly the case that there's poor marketing. Uh, either way, Icon has listened and they are hiring uh, as they as they grow. And this is a tweet from Scott Smiley. To expand on the hire specifically, one marketing person hired and getting up to speed. They've also hired a project manager hired and getting up to speed. They've also hired a tech lead and they're they were interviewing eight people for a marketing lead role. So if your biggest complaint with Icon was lack of marketing, they've gone out and hired in those specific areas. So stay tuned for more and better marketing. Now in the past, I've I've said that I believe that Icon can, can get to $50 this year. It's hard to think that that would happen after this most recent drop. But if we're continuing on with this bull market, Icon will hit its previous all-time highs in 2021 of over $3. I think $13, its 2018 all-time high, will be smashed. I've said 50 in the past, and uh, Icon has only gotten more bullish since that point. ICE is huge. Having new marketing leads is huge. And I'll stick by $50 as a bullish case scenario. Might sound crazy now because you can get one icon for uh, just over $1. But I think $25 is realistic and $50 is ultimate bull scenario. All right, let me know down in the comments what you think of icon and this new ICE token. Does it change your opinion on where icon is headed? Let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification, and check out my Patreon. Link is in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.